everybody, welcome back. I am joined here with Paddington because this is a new episode of Paddington's Pantry where my puppy and I make dog friendly treats. I have two puppies now who you will see throughout the video. She doesn't feel like being called cheese. She's like a pajama queen. Um, but today we are making some dog friendly popsicles. It is finally warm outside and this treat is fabulous if you want your dog to just be distracted for a while and it's also a great way to use up um, those little crumbs in the bottom of the treat bags that you know your dog likes but it's like weird to just give them those little bits of treats. This is what you can save them for. So yeah, let's get started. Are you bored already? Okay, so first what you want to do is dissolve some dog friendly beef stock in some water and so I'll link the one that I'm using down below this video isn't sponsored but this beef sock is really really handy and um, I would advise against using store-bought like human powdered stock because sometimes there's onion and garlic in it and dogs can't have those so this stock was made specifically for dogs so I'll link it down below and you just want to use it according to the directions on the package so I think it's one scoop per one liter of water for this particular stock then you want to fill a mini or regular size bunt pan with your dog's favorite foods. I'm using bunt pans just because I think it's cute, uh, but you can use whatever kind of pan that you like. Also depends on the size of your dog. I'm using the mini ones because my dogs are mini, um, but if you have like a German Shepherd, use a full bunt pan. Um, I'm sure they will enjoy that much more than these little mini things that they could eat in like a bite. So for the savory version that Paddington is helping me make, <laughs> we are adding some raw beef chunks, some baby carrots, and some fresh parsley. The beef is like whole URL for them. And parsley is good because it freshens their breath, so it's a nice little green addition. And then for the sweet version, which Treacle is helping me make because she loves strawberries. How cute is that, oh my god. Um, we are adding some strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And I'm also adding some bits of dried chicken. This, these are like little pieces broken off from their treats. So if you have any treat bags kicking around with like crumbs at the bottom, this recipe is really, really good to use them in because you can kind of just sprinkle the crumbs in and it'll like further flavor the water and give them like extra little bits of deliciousness in. And you don't have to throw away like delicious treat crumbs. So once all the fillings are in the pans, I poured the stock in and they both thought it was soup, so um, they drank them. Um, but you don't want to pour it in the whole way because it might expand as it freezes. It's also easier when you carry it to the freezer. So just pop it into the freezer. I left mine in overnight just to make sure it was completely frozen solid. And then when unmolding, I dunked them into a bowl of boiling water just for a couple seconds to loosen them up. And then I turned them out onto a dish towel. So they might leak a little bit when you're doing that which is why I have the dish towel down there because the boiling water will melt the ice obviously uh, but after that you can just pop it outside I recommend popping it outside mine tried to bring them inside and so I was chasing them around with paper towels being like no keep it outside because like you don't want raw beef juice around your house um, but these are perfect for summer and how cute are the dogs Paddington is so hairy and like too excited to even look up I had to use every trick in the book to get him to look up um, because he was just so excited about the raw beef that like nothing else mattered in his life. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Um, as you can see, Paddington was like, he is so fluffy and like his fur blocks the treat when I'm trying to film. Plus he was so excited about eating it because it had raw meat and raw meat for him is like the holy grail. Um, so there was like nothing I could say that would make him look up. Normally if I say like, Daddy's here! Daddy! Where's Daddy? <laughs> oh yes! Um, so it makes him like, like, oh my god! Um, and Daddy is my boyfriend, Marco. Um, but when I said it with him, when he was eating the cookie, he kept looking down. He didn't change his position, but he just like kept eating, but then just like barked while looking down. I'll insert a clip here. I think I got it on camera. Paddington is daddy here. Let's go see daddy. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. But um, he loved it so much. So if your dog is food motivated like Paddington and um, if they need like some cooling down in the summer, this is really great. Treacle had the little berry one and then once Paddington ate the entire, the entire meat one. I can't believe it. Like instead of an hour, he ate the whole thing. This is a little like Piggington. Piggington should be your name. Like, I'm not gonna look at you because you're, you're just shade on me. Um, 
then after that he went and stole it from, stole the very one from Treacle. He is that much of a little foodie pig. Yes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I have another dog treat recipe coming um, for the 4th of July. We made little gummies and I love them. So I'm going to make you homemade candy. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, I love you guys so much.